Hi, my name is Cameron and today I am here to talk about this Langria Mesh Office Task Chair. I picked this up recently because I was needing a chair, obviously. I was using a kitchen chair, which is not ideal. Uh, and this was on sale. So this retails for $89.99 on Amazon currently. I don't know when you're watching this, obviously. I'll, uh, in full disclosure, tell you that I picked this up for $49.99 during the holidays. I don't know how often they put it on sale for that much, but that is the price that I paid. Um, so I thought a live demo might be good. Um, this is what the chair looks like. I'm gonna demo the, uh, the recline motion. Uh, I'm gonna demo what it looks like 360. That's what it'll look like when you're sitting in your chair spinning. Uh, I'm also gonna go sideways so you can get maybe a better idea of the reclining motion right here. So it does recline, which I wasn't sure of actually when I bought it, but it's a good recline. Uh, it's not gonna like stay there. It's gonna, uh, yeah, if I lean back, it kind of stays there. Um, there's no way to pin it back though. There is a way to pin it in the fully upright position. You just push the little uh, lever in, the lever that raises and lowers the chair, and there's no reclining here. Um, you might be curious about how high it can go, so I'll get out of the chair and uh, hope you can still see my face. I can't see the video, but uh, this is as high as it goes. Not super high. Now let's go low. Not super low either. I like it right in the middle, and I think you might too, but if you're extra tall, this might not be the chair for you, I think. So we got the recline, we got the height up and down. I'll talk to you a little bit about assembly. This took about 30, maybe 45 minutes to assemble. I did see some people complaining that the instructions were hard to follow. I didn't have uh, really any trouble. I'm kind of handy. You know, probably maybe handier than you are. I don't know. I don't know your skill level. But I did end up with two extra pieces because there was one part that was not clear and I said, well, I can see where they want me to put it, but honestly, I don't think that I should include those pieces because what they looked like they were gonna do is kind of take these arms and push them in ever so slightly. So it looked like it would be securely fastened without the little rubber pieces. Uh, you might make the same choice or maybe not. Someone did, I, see, I saw complain that this is uh, too narrow. Um, I am not a, very skinny person, but I also don't have super big hips. Um, you can maybe judge. That's what I got right there. Uh, and if you, I, I would say that I am very close to the maximum width that I would be comfortable with in this chair. So if I was a little bit wider, um, I would scrape the sides of the armrest every time I sat down and that would be uncomfortable. So you might want to uh, consider that depending on who this is for. Um, the armrests are not cushioned um, and uh, so they could be, but they're not. Um, they feel firm, they're not feeling like they're gonna break off or anything. Um, and uh, it is fairly comfortable and I like that I can recline if I want to. So overall, this is a really this is not a completely entry-level chair. I would say an entry-level chair wouldn't have armrests. It would probably have a really tiny back, and I would be less happy with it. I've sat in those types of chairs. I don't like them. Um, but th for this style of a chair, this is pretty entry-level. Um, we've talked about some of the limitations. My big gripe about uh, chairs is that office chairs seem like they're kind of like cars. It, they lose 40% of their value when you drive them off of the lot. Um, I think that I could have gone on a Craigslist and for less money picked up uh, a better chair. I think I could have spent $30 on a chair, I, I've done this before, and gotten a decent chair off of Craigslist. I, um, there's one here that I have. This I paid $25 for. And it has some of the same functions. It reclines about the same. Um, and it's kind of a, a fuller chair. So you kind of feel like you're more ensconced in the chair. To be honest, I wasn't happy with this purchase. I sort of bought it on Craigslist. Uh, I was mostly paying $25 to get out of the guy's basement. I got a little creeped out and handed in my money. But 
that shows you the minimum of what you can get for a used chair. It's in decent condition. I could have cleaned it up a little bit more. You could probably do better if you don't mind buying used a chair that's in good condition that is better than this chair for less money, especially if you're paying retail price. So the bottom line is I would not pay $90 for this chair. I'm okay paying $50 for this chair. Um, I don't think I got a steal, and that's kind of saying something since it was almost half off. Um, I mostly bought it because I remembered the situation I was in when I was in someone's basement and they were saying, okay, give us the money for the chair now. And I was thinking, well, I don't want the chair, but I want to get out of here. So I didn't want to go through that again, but rationally, you could safely buy a chair used just like you could safely buy anything else. So if you're not too uh, worried about that, I would go buy a used chair. If this is on sale for $50 and you don't want to go through the hassle of a used chair, you want a chair to just show up at your door one day by the UPS guy, that's exactly what this chair is. And at $50, I would say that would be a reasonable purchase. At $90, I cannot recommend this chair. <clears throat> All right, I hope this has been helpful. Again, my name is Cameron and uh, I'll see you later.